All right, let's get away from character movement now and do something a little bit different. Uh, in Team Fortress 2, you can have one character that is a, a spy. I'm going to draw a really bad spy right here, but you see he has a knife, and that means he's a spy. And spies can stab enemy players in the back. Th this is an overhead drawing. Uh, you know, my drawing's really bad, but we're looking from the top down. And this red spy is going to stab the blue player in the back. And so we have to detect whether or not this attack from the uh, spy to the blue player is a backstab. If you stab him in the face, that's not a backstab. You have to stab him in the back. So what do we know? We know the location of the blue player, B. And we know the view, ve the view vector of the blue player, okay? We're going to call that V hat because it's a normal length vector. And you're going to see in this video why normal length vectors are so freaking useful. And then we have the position of the red player, R. Now we can say uh, uh, R minus B to get the vector from B to R. And we're going to normalize that so it's a unit length vector. So BR, I'm going to write out the whole equation for you just as a review. It is B minus, no that's wrong, R minus B over the length of R minus B. And that'll get us a unit length vector that uh, points from B to R. Okay, so now all we have to know is, are these two vectors facing in the same direction? In other words, is B looking at R? Is, is if, if R is on this side, if R is over here, then R, the view vector BR will be like this. Here's, here's BR hat. Uh, but if R is in behind, then you can see the vectors face the opposite direction. So we want to test whether or not the red player is behind the blue player. And we can do that with a dot product. Dot product. A dot product is a relationship. You can think of it as a relationship between two... Uh, vectors and I'm going to give you first the mathematical definition of a dot product and I'll do it in orange it is the length of vector a multiplied with the length of vector B multiplied with the cosine of the angle between the two vectors and this is the math and physics definition of a dot product so if you have two vectors, I'm just going to draw two vectors here, and this is the theta between them, then what we're looking at is the length of one of the vectors times the length of the other vector times the cosine of the theta, the angle between the two vectors. But that's, uh, that's kind of a, a cumbersome dot product definition for us. That doesn't that doesn't, you know, we don't always know the cosine of the angle between the two vectors, uh, between the two vectors. So we actually have a different uh, definition that we can use for dot product. That's a little bit easier for us to use, and that is the product of the x components of the two vectors plus the product of the y components between of the two vectors. And these two things are actually the same. I'm not going to prove it to you, but just take my word for it. If we do this, we'll get the same result. And so this is used for games and for like like engineering applications. Any anytime vectors are stored in computers, you're going to get this form of the dot product. So that's the one we're going to look at. So let's let's come over here and and take a look at what what answer we're gonna get what answer we're gonna get when we do these two dot products. So I'm going to draw a v vector. There it is, v hat. This is the same vector as before. Okay, this is the view 
of the blue player and I'm going to draw the view of the red player right next to it and note these again are normal length vectors BR so let's say they're facing in the same direction if that's true then the dot product is going to equal one okay and that means if you'll allow me to clear a little space right here that the red player here's the let's draw the blue player first here's the blue player and he's facing this way okay and the red player is in front of the blue player okay because the vectors are facing the same way the vector that points to the red player and the vector where the blue player is looking they're pointing the same way and so the dot product is one so this is not a backstab situation So let's look at the second situation as the blue vector and the red vector start to point in different directions that one starts to become a zero so now you can see that the the red vector points the opposite direction or it can point left oops or it can point left this is br either of these values will get you the same result and that result is zero uh, and this is v so let's see what this looks like over here this is our blue player and he's facing this way and the red player is 90 degrees to one side okay so the red player is standing beside the blue player so here's the red player the red player is attacking the blue player so this is also not a backstab situation so there's one more situation we want to look at here and we're gonna say the blue player is looking up and mind you this could be both vectors looking right or both vectors looking down or both le vectors looking forward or backwards uh, it doesn't matter and and here I'm gonna draw these two vectors facing away from each other that could be one facing up and one facing down or that could be one facing forward one facing backwards it, it doesn't matter as long as they're facing away from each other you are gonna get negative one for the dot product of these two vectors and let's look at that in our little diagram here's the blue play player and he's facing right and the red player uh, we he is in the opposite direction the normal map the normal vector that faces to the red player is facing the opposite way from the blue player and here's the red player right here at the end of that arrow so that means the red player is behind the blue play player the blue player is facing away so this is a backstab situation this is what we want so we want the dot product of BR and V to be negative one and that will allow us to see whether or not the red player can backstab the blue player now let's see how I'm doing on time uh, yeah I think we're gonna go to the code in the next video so head on to the next video and I'll show you how to implement this in the code